McCleskey, BrazilDirect.us. I'm here with uh, Vic Sprecher, my professor, and uh, we are going to go over uh, pier deployment now. So, Vic, take it away. You bet. Uh, not every beach has a pier, but if one should be there, that is one of the most dangerous areas on the whole beach shoreline. So when a swimmer gets caught close to a pier, they of course can be battered easily by the waves. Emily is the perfect device that will go in, capture that person, secure them, and even to the point where we can put a lanyard on Emily, a lanyard and then pull them to safety or secure them before they get into deep trouble and then the uh, beach rescue team goes out and secures Emily because we all know that she can accommodate up to 550 pounds and up to five people uh, with just our simple 25 pound Emily. Very good, very good. Now let's, uh, let's move on to operating in the, in the surf line. Right, operating in the surf line, very critical. So when our guards are on the beach and we spot someone in trouble, the first plan of attack is what's the most accommodating, smartest way to approach and rescue that swimmer in distress. And the way you do that is you navigate into the waters immediately over to that person. Uh, if you, you do not want to go head on into a wave, you can traverse and go sideways. You work your way smart around the waves to come right in. If Emily does get knocked over by a wave, she of course immediately will upright herself. But it's called smart navigation uh, employment to get to a, uh, a swimmer in distress. So you want to go ahead and plan a route. The, op the operator always has uh, five uh, options when an on one oncoming wave. Uh, they can go ahead and go 90 degrees to the wave and run down the swell, which that means it would be a parallel run uh, to try to find a section of the wave that hasn't broken yet. So again, you don't want to run head on into the wave unless you absolutely have to. The second option is to turn 90 degrees to the other direction and then run up the swell, which would be parallel, to find a section of the white water that is uh, doable and, of course, traverse then. The third option is moving ahead toward an oncoming wave. The operator must use good wave judgment and throttle control to go over an oncoming wave. So when the throttle control, important, you don't always have, you're not always going full speed all the time. You can slow Emily down to a virtual stop. But again, it's operating smart and she can operate uh, quite efficiently. The last option is to hold the position, which means that she would be hovering and then wait for a more favorable time to, to maneuver. Okay, that's a wrap. Thank you very much. Thank you.